So millimeters cubed is a length cube. That's a volume. And we're headed mm -hmm. to quartz, which is also a volume. And the way we get to uh, quartz is through liters and liters through um, milliliters, milliliters, which are the same as cubic centimeters. So I just have to get from millimeters cubed to centimeters cubed. There she is. She came back. Good. Hi, Katie. We're just waiting for people. And so um, Erica and I are working on number 12. Okay. Okay. Um, would I take it out of scientific notation or no? Oh, I wouldn't. No. Okay. <laughs> so, Mari, I'm glad you're back. I'm sorry I walked away. My iPad wasn't working. I should have said something. No, it's okay. Sorry, it was my fault. Sorry. No, no. I, I was rude and I it was unintentional. I didn't mean to be rude. How does that look? Looks good. Hello, everybody. <laughs> Eric and I were just um, hanging out, do working on number 12. And then I was going to go and do number 13 real quick, and then we'll start the Kahoot. Unless you have a pressing question. So for 13, we're given a length and a time. And so we use length and time to figure out the rate. And then I'm going to convert it to minutes. So two hours is 120 plus 41 is 161 minutes. Oh, OK. And so we're going to get our minutes to seconds and our miles to meters. Hello, if you're just joining us, we're just working through uh, 12 and 13 and we'll start the Kahoot in just a little bit. Yeah. Is anybody not clear on where to find the problems or that they should have done the problems before coming? But if you didn't do the problems, don't leave, <clears throat> stay. <laughs> and uh, you write down the answers and then you'll have the answers for the problems you work. And you're, you're welcome to ask questions. Um, for the, the top part, would it be uh, miles to feet, to inches, to centimeters, to meters? Yes. Okay. That's what I did first, so. <laughs> And then minutes to seconds. Okay, so I came up with something like, let's see, three six figs, four point three six. Did anybody else get that? And my units are meters per second. Everything else canceled. Where are the questions? Yeah. Okay, so week four, okay. conversion, uh, Kahoot conversion number two. If you didn't know about it, it might be that you didn't see the Zoom from yesterday where I said, here's where we, what we're going to do tomorrow, and here it is. Oh, wait. I or you, yeah. And then uh, tomorrow it's going to be conversion to Hoops number three. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I see it. So, did anybody do 13? Yep. 
Yeah, I got 4.36. Good, me too. All righty, if there are no questions, I'm gonna jump in. <clears throat> if there are questions, I hope that you will ask. Um, so here we are, it's week four, and <laughs> I love technology when it works, you know, mm -hmm. and sometimes it doesn't. So, okay, there is a, let me take that. Okay, so uh, week starts with, you know, here's what we're going to do this week. Here's the Zoom information. Here's some worksheets and their keys. And here are previous recordings. I'm going to click on those real quick. For the worksheets and their keys, before you take the practice exam and the exam, um, I plan on grading these today and tomorrow. You're going to want to make sure that you have this information and it's correct. So if you don't want to wait for me to grade your stuff, you can look at the key. It's here under worksheets and their keys, which is found as a link on the homepage. And then the next thing is down here, the previous recordings page has previous recordings. Um, I was having trouble. So I was embedding these, how Canvas told me I should. And then when I got to yesterday's, it wouldn't load. That little loading circle kept going and going literally like 20 minutes. So finally, I just went to, um, I uploaded it to YouTube and made it a link. So if you click on that, it'll take you out to YouTube. But it's the only way I could get it to post on the page. Hello, everybody. I'm glad that you're And I don't know why, but technology. Okay, so back to the home page. Here's what I did. I had um, week four, and I thought, let me talk about talking about the exam that you're going to take. This opens Friday, and you have until Tuesday midnight. You get an hour for the exam. I wouldn't wait till the last minute. Plus, you get a practice exam. You're welcome. And then I have our discussion, which is very similar to last week's discussion, and then two um, chunks of content that are the end of chapter three. They aren't on the exam because we haven't done them yet. I don't want to give you new material the same week I expect you to be tested on that material. That's just too fast. And then there's your to-do list. So that's what I meant to do, but here's what happened. I click on exam one and there's the to-do list. I click on how to do, how to discuss, uh, how to format your work. And here's the first exam stuff. Mm. This really should be under that tab. I click on energy and there's your discussion. I click on heat capacity and there's energy. I click on to do and there's heat capacity. So it's like everything got shuffled by one. And then I thought, oh shoot, what I do? Let me fix that. So I click on edit. This is all on one page that I've uh, assembled into tabs. So there's the first page. Here's the exam one tab with information about exam one. Here's the discussion tab with information on the discussion. Here's the energy tab with energy. Okay, so everything's fine. The capacity and here I'm talking about heat. Okay, so it's all fine. Let me just double check. No, it's scrambled and I can't fix it and I don't know how. So anyway, it's a little confusing. Please try to be patient. And if you have questions, you can uh, text me through Reminder. We can meet through Zoom to clear those up. Okay, so I wanna talk about exam one, but I can't click on this tab because that doesn't work. The first exam is gonna cover chapter one through chapter three, section six. But really there's not nothing on chapter one. So it's chapter two and most of chapter three. The exam is uh, open note, open book, and um, but not open Google or open tutor or open friend. Mm -hmm. So you want to be successful on your first exam and you're not sure what to expect. That's why I went ahead and gave you one chance to practice the exam before you take the exam for real. Um, I recommend that when you take the exam, so you get to practice this too, that you don't use your notes. Or if you do use your notes, have them on a page right next to you. <clears throat> but don't, don't dig into your books because it will take too much time. And definitely don't dig into um, videos because that would be cheating. You're allowed to use the materials that you prepared for the exam, which includes any work that you have done. Did you make those videos? No, so don't look at the videos. Also, you don't have time. So what I need you to do is to prepare for you and for me, because I'm gonna require this. I want you to, oops. I want you to prepare a page or two of summarized notes to refer to during the exam. <clears throat> you don't need to include the conversions that are contained on the um, Chem 1A conversion sheet. I believe you know those 
And if you have the sheet next to you while you're working, that's not cheating, that's okay. You don't need to include a periodic table. Um, and you can choose which periodic table you use. If you wanna use the one that you have colored, red, blue, and purple, that's totally fine too, that is not cheating. But in addition to those two things, I want you to prepare notes. And you don't need to upload those things. I just want to see you upload your handwritten notes. And so you won't do this during the exam, but once you finish the exam, there will be a place for you to upload your notes. And I will check to see that they're there. Uh, are there any questions about the notes? No. No, okay. So you're gonna upload the combined file of handwritten notes that you used for the exam right after you finish the exam. I don't want you to have additional unnecessary stress about time while you're finishing the exam. You get 60 minutes, and if you've come prepared and done all the practice things, 60 minutes should be enough. But I don't want you to worry about technical difficulties. Okay, you need to let's see. Once you have, you'll have 60 minutes. Come prepared. Blah blah blah. Here's information. Um, oh, I need to change this. There are 20 questions, and the final two questions are worth 24% of the grade. And they're file uploads. Those have to be done within that window of time. Because it takes a minute to take a picture and to airdrop and to upload or however you do it, I have given you 10 extra minutes. So the exam window for you, once you begin, is open for 70 minutes. That means 60 minutes to do the exam and 10 minutes to figure out how to upload them. You can upload in five minutes. I guess you have five extra minutes, but you need to upload those. And then, um, yeah, anyway, so just make sure that you manage your time as you take the exam. That's why I'm giving you a practice exam because I think it can be done, but I don't want you to panic. Sometimes when we panic, we kind of shut down. It's harder to do the simple things. Any questions on exam one? Yeah. Okay, we'll go back to this and say, so there is a chapter two quiz. And um, you know what, it just occurred to me, I could probably give you practice attempts at that. Would you like that? Yeah. I will yes, do that. please. <laughs> I'll do that. Why not? And uh, there's a first exam, but there's a practice exam that you need to take. You probably should take first. Uh, how to format your work discussion, which is very similar to last week. And then a conversion problem set, it's just four problems. There are three mastering uh, chemistry homeworks. And I think that they'll take about an hour altogether for, on the, for an average student. So um, just make sure that you do things. These homeworks don't need to be done before the exam because they're on the content at the end of chapter three that is not covered on the exam. But the practice exam and the quiz, you definitely wanna do before you take the exam. Okay, if there are no exam questions, I'm now gonna go to the complete. There we go. So on your mobile device or however you do it, uh, here we go. Our game pin will load. There's nine of you. If you don't wanna play or you're not playing, if you could just put that in chat, that'd be great. So we're not waiting for you. So our game pin is 992-7743. And then for tomorrow, there's a different set of questions. Totally fine, Alexis. Um, for tomorrow, there's a different set of questions and tomorrow's meeting has been moved. I finally got a doctor's appointment. I've been in some chronic foot pain and it happens to be during Zoom. So tomorrow we're gonna meet at 10, from 10 to 11. That's the only time I'm available tomorrow. But that's when we'll do the conversion three. Okay, so those two aren't uh, participating, no problem. Here we go.
So we're starting with two sig figs. We have to end with two sig figs. And then I'm not sure about the 1.8 times 10 to the negative three, I mean, 10 to the three inches squared. We can um, work through that at the end of the, uh, the week. All right, so we know that our answer needs to have two sig figs and 0.6 is one sig fig. The zero in front of the decimal for the yellow answer is just there to warn, to let you know there's a decimal coming. Zeros on the left are never significant. So if you're guessing, you know that you need to end with three sig figs, right? We can go over that one too. I'm guessing I'm going to guess blue. <clears throat> Do you know why I guess blue? Sig fig. Hmm. This question doesn't make any sense. I'm sorry about that. I am definitely going to go over eight. I will probably start there. Do you see why it doesn't make sense? How can the water level in a graduated cylinder start at 35 mils and rise to a smaller number? I put my my uh, volumes backwards. Sorry about that. Good job, Nathan.
Okay, now I'm confused. Isn't 90 minutes, one and a half hours? I guess the question was asking for hours. <laughs> Sorry. Good job. No questions? We're done? Okay, bye. <laughs>
by going through centimeters. And if I have squared units, I have to do it twice. A meter is 100 centimeters. But that only cancels one of the meters, so I have to do it twice. 2.54 centimeters is an inch. Centimeters are smaller than inches. I have to do that twice. My meter squared will cancel because of this two. My centimeter squared will cancel because of that two. The two applies to everything within the parentheses. Mm -hmm. So 0 0.062 times 100 squared divided by 2.54 squared equals, and I got 96. 0.1001922. The units were inches squared, and I started with two thickness. These conversions were exact, so they don't limit our thickness. I end with two thickness. All righty, I think I would also like to do number five. 275 gallons. And we're headed to cubic feet. So the only thing I know about gallons is gallons to quarts, quarts to liters, liters to milliliters, which is a cubic centimeter. If we get to cubic inches, that's a long path. So let's say you have a question like this on the exam. <clears throat> You're going to need to, um, like on the discussion this week, I give you a limited number of options. These are the uh, dimension, the conversions that I want you to use. And I did last week too. These are the conversions I typically want you to use. But let's say that you decide that you are anticipating a gallon to cubic feet question. And so you want to have another conversion. That's something that you would need to put on that sheet that you're going to upload after you take the exam to say, um, this is available to me during the test. I didn't Google it during the test. I came prepared with it. I had it in hand before I started. So if you use some funky conversion, I'm going to check to see on your um, notes page if you had already included that conversion. So. I need you to upload, but I don't want you to stop by to Google before you upload the notes. So as soon as you're done with your test and the um, Canvas tells me how long it took you and what time you finished, I need to get that upload for the next thing. I need to see that the test finished right before the upload happened. Does that make sense? Okay. All righty, so I'm gonna take this long path because I didn't come prepared with extra things. I know that four quarts is a gallon. And I can get from quarts to liters. I'm using the conversion on the page. Liters to milliliters is a prefix conversion that I've memorized. Um, I'm assuming that you know those two and you have those handy. A milliliter is the cubic centimeter. And so now I'm going to go from centimeters to inches three times and inches to feet. Four quarts is a gallon is unlimited because it's volume to volume within a system, the English system. A uh, thousand milliliters is a liter is unlimited because the prefix conversion, those are de defined. Cubic centimeters and milliliter, unlimited. A foot is 12 inches, it's English to English length, defined. It is weird to me that 2.54 centimeters 
is an inch is also unlimited. This one is also exact. The ones that are limited in their sig figs are the starting place, three sig figs, and then the conversion that goes from volume in uh, English to volume in metric. So those are both three sig figs. So my final answer ends in the tenths place. I look to the right and see four. This is closer to 36.6 .6 than it is to 37. Hmm. And so there's my answer. All righty. So those are the ones that I felt like I needed to do, but are there other ones you'd like me to do? You can speak or put it in chat. The discussion problem this week, you bet. I think I'll find that here under energy. <laughs> okay, uh, how to format your work in conversion. So this is um, similar to last week's discussion. Last week we, were, we had a question about, we have 25 meters by 25 meters as an area. How much paint will it take? There's 400. Uh, probably square feet per gallon or something like that. So this is the same idea, but the problem is different. All the other things are the same and apply, which is you have limited conversion factors and I'm gonna grade your way, your discussion the same way I'm grading this week's discussion. So this one says a cheetah can run 113 kilometers per hour for a short distance. How many minutes would it take to run 0.28 miles? Typically, when we look at a word problem, we want to identify what's being asked for. What's being asked for is how many minutes. So I put that on the right. And then we want to start with something that has both number and units. And here we have two things that have number and units. I suggest that you start with a thing that isn't a ratio. I suggest that you start with a thing that is just number and units with no denominator. So that would be 0.28 miles. And we're headed to minutes. And in between, we're going to use the conversion factor of 113 kilometers per hour. So I'm starting with this because it has both number and units. While this also has both number and units, the units are a ratio. And so it's not the best starting place, it can work. But one of the requirements for the discussion is that you have all your work on one line. That's why I'm starting with just number of units. So I'm gonna go from miles to kilometers. That's gonna take a couple steps. I don't know how many. And then this is gonna get us from distance crossing over to time. And then the time will start at hours, because that's our conversion, kilometers per hour, and then we'll work our way to minutes. So I'm not completely sure um, if that answers your question. Is that what you were looking for, Nathan? Okay. Other questions? Alrighty, so everybody's feeling very quiet today, I guess. Hmm. In that case, I think we're done. Thank you for coming. I'll hmm. see you later.